Hello again, this is Robert Reich's uh, Talking Head. I've been away for a few weeks. Uh, now for the irreverent news. It doesn't get covered. It should be covered. Big political news last week. Uh, the Republican debate. Three Republicans seeking the nomination for president said they did not believe in evolution. They don't believe in evolution. Even with the baboon, Dick Cheney, in the White House, they still, that's not enough evidence for them. Now, they weren't asked whether they believe the sun goes around the earth, but presumably they do. This is the quality of person running for president. Fred Thompson, he's running for president. What are his credentials? Well, he was a senator for a moment, but his big credential is he is an actor. A law and order. What are his other credits? The Hunt for Red October in the Line of Fire. Obviously, he is presidential timber. Fred Thompson believes, he said a couple of days ago, speaking to a conservative audience, he believes that America should stay in Iraq as long as there is any chance of bringing stability to the country. Well, Mr. Thompson, if that were the criteria, we would have been out several years ago. He says, we are going to leave an area of the world that becomes more and more nuclear? Well, Mr. Thompson, in Iraq, there weren't any nuclear weapons found. Somebody needs to brief this man before he becomes president. Big political news coming up. The White House is ho hosting a state visit. Queen Elizabeth is coming. Uh, the, House, the White House is all at Twitter. Uh, she's coming Monday. Somebody has got to let the White House know that Queen Elizabeth is not the head of state. Tony Blair is the head of state in England. In fact, it's not even clear why there is still royalty in Europe, especially in the oldest constitutional democracy in Europe. Why is there still a queen? And why is there a queen consort? Consort. Get that, Bush? Why are the British spending millions and millions and millions of pounds supporting a family that does nothing? Why is it that American taxpayers are going to be supporting this particular dinner Monday night? Makes no sense. Doesn't have much to do with democracy, Mr. President George. Put democracy anywhere in the world at Bush. In economic news, finally, we find that in April, rank and fire work, uh, file workers, these are people, 80% of the workforce, hourly workers, uh, they actually made less money on an hourly basis in April than they made less, uh, last October, even though the stock market is going like gangbusters. What does that prove? It proves that trickle-down economics doesn't work. Nothing is trickling down. Supply-siders, please take note. It's not trickle-down economics, it's trickle-out economics. Investments, their extra earnings, their extra money they don't have to pay in taxes, is trickling out to wherever around the world they can make a killing. Now, I know you've all been waiting for the final chapter in my date with Hillary 40 years ago. Uh, wasn't really a date, she was president of her class, I was president of my class. Uh, I have described it up till now. I have left out the the final scene, because I know you were all waiting, people want to know what happened at the end of that date. Nothing. We shook hands. That's the kind of president she would or will be. Take care, America.